So, Hassan, you, know, you guys have been at this for a while. We've been talking about this for a while. I mean, if, if we look back at it two years ago, well, World Congress 2013, we saw everyone talking about SDN. Right. Half of what they talked about in SDN was really NFE. We didn't know the words very well. The market was trying to understand it. Last year, we talked a lot more about going forward. We saw some, some great initial work. AT&T on security and domain 2.0. We're slowly moving forward. We've got proven concepts. We talked about the trials. What does market timing look like? Because on the one hand, we know this is new. On the other hand, it feels like we've been talking about it for years, and yet we can't point to lots of great examples of where this is taking place. Are we at the place where we're going to start seeing commercial deployments and we can next year maybe say, here's commercial operations, how it's working, or, or do we still have more trials and, and POCs in front of us? Sure, and that's a great question, Peter. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I think the market's here. Um, the last couple of years were about evangelizing, as, as you point out, but I think it's actually arrived, and I'll give you some data points to suggest why. First of all, we have a, a living proof in Elephant Talk who actually have been up and running with service for, for some time. At, at Affirmed, we have, uh, as I mentioned, about 20 or so commercial deployments that we're involved in. Some of those tier one, they're all over the globe. Um, we have, um, you know, probably close to a dozen networks that are already live, have been for a while. So the use of NFE is definitely happening now. The, the points that I think underscore why the market is now is A, what we find is um, in, most operators are mentally on the page now of, uh, of looking at NFV as their, as their future architecture. Second of all, it used to be that people worried that when this new technology came along, could it really keep pace with the legacy? And in reality, what we've seen in the major deployments that we've been involved in is that our platform as new technology is now outperforming the best of the legacy. And what that means is that there's absolutely zero downside to the operator moving. And this, I think, is a tipping point in the marketplace where you'll just see this accelerate, and we see it in our in the number of deployments we're engaged in. Same, same <coughs> situation for Elephant Talk, Martin? Actually, you're in a country, I cannot see the names of the operator, but you're indeed in a country where we have a full virtualized, except one element, it's a full virtualized uh, system. And uh, we have presently um, around 1.6 million customers on it. Yes, and we are. There are other countries already with more people on it, but this is an extremely important country for us uh, here in Spain, because actually the MNO here, they got the sense, they did understand what is going on, and and they gave us the chance actually to perform. And uh, we just launched also a second brand for them, uh, we, which is a postpaid brand, which is growing very very fast. Um, and and when you look to that. Um, uh, it, it's not anymore a sheet, it is fact. Uh, I think for a lot of mobile operators, they still have to get used to it. And, and again, uh, the, the issue is that many don't believe it yet, because why the Ericsson's of this world, why the Huawei's of this world, why many others of this world who are have big names are not there yet, because there was a philosophy, you know, you had on one side the undocks, we had on the other side the hardware vendors, and they all gave each other the space to live. Yes, and then disruptive companies like us come, who have years of investment in actually the development of this, because it was the key, and we started from scratch. <laughs> so actually, we all had the lessons from the past. We started from scratch again, and we tried to do it better. But it takes years to develop this. And I think we are now really on the point that we can prove we can roll out things like that, and actually, we both have a very big partner, also called HP, and, and they actually really support us heavily, uh, also in rollouts worldwide. And, and when you look to this, that when you see the whole economic sphere coming together, I think that mobile operators very soon, they, they don't have a choice because the market pressure of the regulatory, of the price pressure goes so fast down that the legacy systems cannot uphold the price. And you cannot go keeping down 20% a year on a legacy system. It doesn't go like that. So it will change very fast, faster than people think, actually. I think that sets us up for a great World Congress 2016 with the uh, the commercial traction beginning to, to go out there and the POCs converting. I think it means we're going to have a, a fun year. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much for the interview. Yeah. Thank you.